Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry. I do not know what happened, but I did have a Dollar Tree part one, but it, for whatever reason, it didn't upload right. So we're going to continue on. I'm going to give you part one right now, or I might just change the other one and make that part one and this part two, but this is technically what I had for part one. So uh, as you all know, I went to the Dollar Tree this morning and I had a lot of fun. I found a lot, a lot of goodies. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way so I can show you all some of these goodies. All right. These won't be very lengthy videos. I'll try to keep them pretty short and sweet and to the point. All right. First, let me make sure we're all in view. Well, happy little campers. Let me move you over just a smidge. Okay, good. Okay, first of all, actually, what I want to show you is part of my haul. If you see this here, this nice little mat, um, I got this at the Dollar Tree this morning, and I thought this would be perfect to use for when I'm doing my planner. As you guys know, I tried my planner stickers yesterday. I did try, I'm so sorry, to get my planner plan with me up, but it didn't work. Um, I had troubles with it uploading as well, and also my voice went out. I was running a bit of a fever and just did not feel good. So, <clears throat> this coming week I will do my best to get a plan with me, and I apologize for the shadow here. This is just this pile of stuff over here. But I got this really nice, you know, mat, and I don't know what type of material this would be called. Um, let me check here. This is a vinyl top surface uh, surface vinyl 12 inches by 30 inches and I think this is going to be nice for when I do my planning um, I tried the little cloth thing yesterday and for planning I don't think that's going to work for book reviews however when I'm just showing you the book and whatever that's going to work perfect but for planning I need something to where I can just you know don't have to go and pick up anyhow onward with today we're on to a Dollar Tree haul and that's what you're here to see so let's get to it I got these wonderful paper clips and talking about planning I do plan to make some uh, planner clips coming down the road some of those might even be for your junk journals I'm really I've got some ideas in my head and let's just hope what's in my head I can get out <laughs> Sometimes you have an idea in your head, your creative folks out there will understand and what you envision in your head may or may not come out, but we're going to try. So I got awesome uh, paper clips. These are 80 count and 50 millimeter. So they're nice size, large paper clips. Also, I am forever, I'm a binder queen, I tell you, I am forever needing a binder. And I found this, which supports uh, breast cancer awareness, and I love that. I had a very dear special aunt of mine die of breast cancer, so, but this was the only one there, and look guys, it's nice and thick, and when I sometimes, I have this thing where if I see it's the only one, or there's only two left, I tend to feel in my heart, now I believe in God, you can believe in the universe or fate or whatever, but I believe that's the way that God is telling me, get this. So my uh, sticker collection is expanding after you see today's videos, it is expanding. So I needed more space to put my stickers. Okay, I'm a hoarder. I love stickers, planner stickers, all of them. You wait till you guys see what I got. Okay. Next, I got this pack of Lego pads. I thought this would be wonderful to use in junk journals. I could distress the edges. I like the old fashioned yellow feel to these. So this is really gonna be fun to use in my junk journals and art journals. So dollar store, you can't beat the stuff you find there. And my fiance, he loves Lego pads. So also this is book related. Victoria Alexander, what happens at Christmas? I got this at the dollar store, you guys, for a dollar. This is normally, this is a Walmart exclusive for $4.48. So even if you got this online, it'd probably be like $7.99 or something because she's big. And if any of you know Victoria Alexander or know of her works, she's awesome. So this is phenomenal. I'm very happy I found this book. 
wonderful find. Love her, love her, love her. I have read many of her books, and I just want to make sure we're all in view. I'm going to, um, excuse me for a second, but tilt you up, and we're going to zoom in a little bit. How's that for you at? Okay, good. All right, perfect. Great find. I will do this um, in another video on books, so I'm not going to read the back of it. We'll do that in another video. Onward. We want to know, <gasps> look, I got file folders. I use these for, I make these altered composition notebooks and I create themes, but also this is a very cheap way for any of you wanting to know some tricks and tips of Janet's little frugal trade, I'm going to tell you. Don't worry about having to buy cardstock. It's beautiful. I got myself a pack prior to Christmas because I wanted to try it out. If you all can't afford it, and I know there's many of you are like me, we can't. Okay, it's nice, but four or five dollars a pack, sometimes even more, go to the dollar store and get yourself some file folders, trim them down, and look, you got cardstock. You can make Christmas cards, you can make tags, you can make bookmarks, you can use them in journals, what else? Okay, seriously, go to the dollar store and get yourself some file folders. There you go, cardstock for a dollar. All right, onward. Another thing I found, and oh guys, isn't this awesome? Look, a receipt book. How cool is that going to be in junk journals? Oh my goodness, can we talk about great find? Let me, okay, you're good. Just checking. Yeah, a receipt book. I am going to have so much fun with this. And look, it's even got the carbon copy yellow. So for those of us really old fashion y look feel, you can use them both. This is really thin and this is, well, they're about the same, but look at all that that you get. You can use in your junk journals. Jot. I'm telling you guys, I know I've said it before on my channel and I'm going to say it again. Jot rocks. They truly do. All right. Look, guys, I know there are many of you like me who love Tim Holtz and all the really cool, awesome stuff out there. And what is it? Is it Heidi Swap or something like that? Correct me if I'm wrong, but Heidi something, I forget. But look, guys, look what I found. Sentiment stickers at the dollar store. Yep, 134 for a dollar. You've got Yippee, Love, Good Job, Foolish, It's a Wonderful Day, Always, Together for E, Forever, Let's Party, Okay, Hello, Hugs and Kisses, Happy Day, Whatever, Beautiful, Love, Hey, Blah, 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 and on and on and on. For a dollar. They are beautiful gold foil stickers and... Oh my God, you guys, for a dollar. Okay, I had to get two of them. And guess what? Let me, what did I tell you a moment ago about God in my life? Two of them left. The universe, God, whatever was speaking to me. Get them, okay? They're going on ATCs. You're going to be seeing them coming. We're going to be doing them together. They're going to be going on ATCs. We're going to make some junk journal. We're going to make journal cards. Yeah, okay. We're going to open up these together. I've not opened these up, but look, guys. Look at what we got at the dollar store here again. 36 pieces. Now they're just little, okay? They're not big. But, again, do you have all the money to go to Michael's, some of you out there? I don't. I'd love to. But, for those of us on a budget, yeah. Jot got us. Jot has got us saved. I love, love, love that dollar store, you guys. So we're going to open up this together. But look at this. And if this video doesn't upload, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, I'm so tired of that. But here we go. Look at this. Very nice paper. Is it as thick? No. But you could double up. You could put another. But actually, to be honest, I don't know. Because honestly, I've never seen actual fancy paper like this uh i don't know so i'll have to go to michael's and compare and contrast but if any of you know to me it's thin thinnish but good enough for me 
Here's our other one. Beautiful daisy. Isn't that pretty? All right, we got our daisies there. I don't want to bore you. Look, nice rainbow chevron. Very pretty for spring coming and summer coming around. What else do we got? Oh, look at that, guys. Like 70-ish, 60s feel. That is really cool. We're going to make some cards and some ATCs with this stuff. We're going to have a ball. Oh, guys, look. Oh, my goodness. I love butterflies. Oh, look how pretty. I cannot wait to use this stuff. Oh, guys, I love hearts even more. I'm sorry for my voice. But, oh, okay. I'm sorry, but dollar store, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's open up this one. Let's see how it looks. All right. Sorry for the crinkle. Come on out of there. Move on over here. Let me put in my garbage, which... Oh, it's getting full. I should empty that because I'm planning to do some collage. To oh, look, guys. I am a huge, 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 huge pastel lover. <gasps> This would make a beautiful background for an Easter card. We got to use it. Okay, I got to go back to the dollar store because I saw some cute bunnies there that I think I need to go get. Got to go back. But guys, oh, look at this. Oh, you guys. I love these like 70-ish, 60-ish feel peace flowers. Peace, man. I love that look. And then I'm on green. That is so cool. I love it. Ooh, kind of a leopard print. Nice pink. This would be pretty for um, Valentine's even. That's kind of cool. <gasps> Ooh, look at these colors. Some pastels, some brights. Oh, I love that. Don't stare at it too long. You might get a headache. Ooh, very pretty. Oh, how adorable is that? Are you guys seeing this? God, here I have it flipped. But look at that. Little squirrely cute thing, whatever you want to call them, squirrely cues, whatever. <gasps> oh, guys, look at this one. Would that not be adorable on an Easter card or a spring card? Oh, love this. I think that's the last pattern. Yep. Guys, this is awesome. And you get six sheets for each design. So go out to your dollar stores tomorrow and get yourself some of these. I'm telling you. Get them before they're all gone because if if I were in your area that would soon be gone because I'll be buying them all so you better hurry before I get there all right I'm just playing I got some of you might have seen my little um, faux vintage uh, leather journals little books that I make I got myself look a pack of 40 brown paper bags for a dollar Fantastic to make many, many, many books to come. Okay, now you might be wondering, okay, book lover, are you really gonna do this? Wait a minute, we thought you were a booktuber. We thought you were a bookworm, you're gonna do this? Yes, I am. I bought these, you guys, to totally distress. Okay, they're going bye bye. I got myself three books, hardbound books at the dollar store. No offense to the authors, but I am going to tear these apart, okay? We're going to tear them apart together. I'm going to go in there with my X-Acto knife, and we're going to turn these into beautiful journals. Yep. I got, look, another one. Beautiful. See, they're white. I don't have to gesso them. I was like, okay, I had, and here's another one of the same. The reason why I liked these versus some of the other colors was they're creamier white. I don't have to gesso over them because sometimes, you know. So, yep, no offense to the authors, but these are going bye bye. And, you know, you might see these in, in a junk journal or something. I don't know. I've seen a lot of you do these altered books. So, yep, I'm jumping on that bandwagon. And I, too, I'm going to do that. All right, let me check my time. Let me see if we can keep on rolling here. All right, I think we can. I'm going to move right on forward. Oh, um, let me see. What else have I not shared? Okay. Not shared. All right. Okay. 
we're gonna get into this. Um, um, you know what? Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up and try to hustle through this, guys, because my um, it's I don't know, it doesn't always work right. But we're gonna try to hustle through this. I'm gonna show you my goodies that was originally in part one, but it messed up. So, I got any crafter, or journal maker, or bookmaker, or whatever. We all need tacky glue. Anytime I go to the dollar store, I grab myself a couple bottles. Alright. I also picked up these beautiful metallic pencils. And when I do my coloring supply, I'll go through these with you guys personally, but I got these beautiful metallic pencils. I already took these out of the package, but I got these gorgeous um, glitter decorative tapes, washies, whatever you want to call them. I normally use the, I believe it's American Craft brand is what I have, but I've never tried the dollar store brand. I believe it was called Artist brand, I forget. But I've never tried these, so I'm going to try these and we're going to see what I think of these because, like I said, I've never tried them before. So let me um, zoom in because some of this stuff is, you might not be able to see very good. There you go. How sparkly all that is. How sparkly. So pretty. Here's our artist pencils again. Just so you can see those a little better. Apologize for that. All right. What else did I grab? Oh, yes. Let me get them all out here. Da -da -da. Excuse me, the noise here. Let me get it all out. But I'd opened these up earlier, you guys. And like I said, I did a video, but it didn't work out. And I was so disappointed. There's another one of these in here. Oh, here it is. Okay. I also got, guys, these wonderful, wonderful little glitters. I believe they were Jaunt brand, but I already threw the packaging out. But go to your dollar store. These are like a fine to medium type of glitter. You get a silver, you get a red, you get this pretty pinkish purple, this beautiful green, and look at that gold. Ooh, I love gold in this. Well, y'all know I love glitter. So those are gonna become part of our card and junk journal stuff. And also, I did keep the package for this. I gotta show you guys these. Liz Drake on her channel, I gotta go back and find the video, and I think this one, I don't know if it got messed up or what, but it was like this, oh, sorry for that squeaky, but it is like this, um, it's called Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow, and I don't know if you can tell, but let me see, let me pull my finger, see how shiny and sparkly that is? Liz Drake told me about this stuff. And she puts it in a spray bottle. I'm not sure she puts it with just plain water or what. Excuse the squeaky. But I'm not sure what. I have to go back and find that video. I might do that tonight when I'm up at like, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning and can't sleep. But look at that. The glitter. Yeah, loose eye shadow. Honeysuckle. This is the honeysuckle. And then that's like, I forget what it was called, but it's like a gold. But somehow, you're supposed to... Take a br see it has a brush in it see all that let me see make sure I'm underneath here here you go I'm sorry jeez and Pete's girl get it together the it's um this loose powder and um look how just how it sparkles Get my finger there see how it sparkles so I can't wait to try this but I don't want to waste too much time here recording but we'll go we're gonna figure out how to do that Next, I got, let me make sure we're in the frame, I got these adorable stamps. I got a butterfly, I got the flower, and I got a heart. Flip it around so y'all can see it. Aren't they awesome? Little rubber stamps. Nice solid wood, too. It's like, I think it's a pine wood. It's very beautiful. They did not have ink, so I'm going to have to go to Michael's. That's okay. <laughs> have to make a trip to Michael's and get me some ink. Or I might look even online. I might look at um, Dick Blick and get some ink there. So, all right. Let me check my 
time here. I think the next video, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this. And then I will come back in with, I believe we'll come back in with the last video. So we're going to stop it here. I'm going to say goodbye. And I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. If you like this video and like others like it, give this a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and be sure to click that notifications button to, so when more of these videos roll on out, you're sure to get these. So this is technically part one. <laughs> so we will be coming with part three soon, I hope. Let's cross our fingers that this video uploads. Thank you so much, guys. Bye, and I will see you later. Thank you.